All right, put the can down. All right, well, one more second. No, no. Put the can down. Okay. All right, all right, Joe, you sing the high part. Hey, you got it. Shoot, do I? Shoot, do I? About my brothers and me We don't have a pedigree But we're brothers We might follow different dreams We might play on different teams Where it counts behind the scenes We're brothers We might march to different drums We might disagree Don't you know when trouble comes You can come to me You're my family Life may go, and it will the wind may blow. Brother, ain't it good to know we're three? Life is full of stress and strife. You lose a lover, leave a wife. A brother's a brother for all your life. But we're brothers. Shoot, do I? Good. Yeah, that's oh, it. I can't believe this. One lousy date. I haven't had a dry spell like this in my entire... Hello, Mr. Zimmerman. This is Joe Waters. Yeah, goof boy. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Listen, uh, could you tell me where I could reach Naomi? Woman's house of detention. <laughs> Thanks. Still can't get a date? Uh, well, to tell you the truth, until this thing in the Middle East is solved, I don't know how hard I'm going to look. <laughs> so, do I look terrific? Let me see. Say yes. Yes. You're lying. <laughs> Joe, I'm so nervous. Why? Well, after my disaster with Ivan, I'm a little gun-shy about dating. Look, Cliff, I don't want to seem like a, a know-it-all, but I don't think you can judge all gay men by a Russian defector the size of a Winnebago. <laughs> You're right. So, tell me about the guy. Well, all I know is, his name is Dennis, he's a paralegal, and he likes chicken. I met him at a butcher shop. All right, it took all day, but here's what I found out. He's 32, a Libra with a moon rising. He enjoys badminton, shrimp salad, and he's originally from Chicago. And I know something else. What? He's standing right behind you. Hello. Hiya, Dennis. Hi. Uh, Dennis, this is my brother Joe. Hi. And my friend Donald. I feel like I know you. <laughs> Shall we go? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm new at this. <laughs> Look, why don't you let no, me... No, I know. think what I ought to but do... I'll tell you what. I'll let you open all the doors if I can lead when we dance. Okay. <laughs> oh, Joe, I feel like we're losing our cliff. So, Donald, uh, what are you doing tonight? What's the matter? Couldn't get a date? Did you ever think I just might want to do something with you? No. <laughs> anyway, I'm running auditions for the Gay Men's Theater Club. We're doing Sound of Music. With all men? Of course, that doesn't stop us. You should have seen our version of Seven Brothers for Seven Brothers. <laughs> So, it was nice of you to drop by. Well, you did leave 14 messages on my machine. <laughs> did you like the one I sang? <laughs> You're a funny guy. I like that. You do? Yeah. A Filipino and a duck get off a bus. Cliff. <laughs> Relax. Listen, I'll, uh, I'll see you Saturday. You Saturday? <laughs> no. This is not her lawyer. Look, just tell a goof boy call. Hi, Cliff. Hey, Joe. Oh, before I forget, you have a letter. How long has this been here? I don't know, a few days. 
they want me to pose nude for the sportsmen of Philadelphia calendar. <laughs> Yeah, Joe. If you had something that was yours, you know, something real personal that not that many people have seen. Well, quite a few, but not like a whole world. Joe, don't pose nude for a calendar. You read my letter? It's been there for days. Everybody's read it. Go for it, Joe. <laughs> Look, Joe. Your integrity has got to be worth more than the cheap thrills you're going to get from a few sex-starved women who call you on account of that calendar. Thanks, Cal. I didn't think of it that way. Hello? Hello? Could I have the nude posing department, please? Lou, get rid of him. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> so that was it for old Uncle Crappy. <clears throat> they found him in the rumpus room, hanging from the Johnny Jump Up. It was sad. To this day, he can't do math. Check, please. So that's why ever since then, I use a belt instead of suspenders. That was great, man. Joe. I think you're losing it. I told you, I gotta close early tonight. I gotta get rid of all these people. You dirty dog. You got somebody coming by, lady, right? Yeah, well... You dirty dog? <laughs> I get it. She comes in here, she gets all dressed up, and you play waitress in the field hand. Oh, you get dressed up as a waitress. Look. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I just got to get rid of the rest of these people. There's no problem, little brother. You dirty dog. <laughs> you can. Yeah. You kill. Yo. Look, you were great today. Why don't you knock off early? Good night. <laughs> Joe, I feel awful. Dennis just called out of nowhere and canceled our date. Cliff? Go home. But Joe, we have customers. This is a job. This isn't your life. Take care of yourself. Go home. Soak in a tub. Have a glass of Chablis. All that matters is that you're okay. Thanks, Joe. You're a sensitive guy. Now I gotta get rid of the rest of these air holes. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yes? Uh, could I have a piece of cheesecake? That voice. Excuse me? There it is again. Why are you torturing me? Are you hitting on me? <laughs> are you blind? Mister, you're a lucky man. Look at that face. <laughs> Please, I'm eating. So, so I'm not gonna get any cheesecake? And ruin that gorgeous figure, not on your life, mister. Take her home and show her you're a man. <laughs> Lawrence, you want the cheesecake or not? Any fights? <laughs> Go fish. <laughs> See, this is nice. This is nice. Two guys sitting around, shooting the breeze. Very nice. <laughs> Any deuces? <laughs> Go fish. How about some cocoa? If I wanted to spend my evenings like this, I'd be straight and married. Hey, I'm not going out there. If a dog bites you once, it's his fault. If he bites you twice, it's your fault. Somebody bit you? Dennis. Dennis bit? 
First the commie wrestler breaks my heart, and then Dennis. He actually called to tell me he had to work late. That little whore. Cliff, the man had to work late. I work late, you work late, all God's children work late. That's it. Take his side. Oh, you know, you are really something. You are really something. It's almost like you're looking for ways to dump this guy. Any queens? <laughs> You've been seeing him for a week. We're not talking about a life commitment here. We're talking a movie and dancing. Donald. I am not going to sit around and be cheated on. Oh, you are crazy. Look, a commitment is a commitment. Oh, go home. I'm sick to death of you. Get out of my face. Too harsh? <laughs> Look, you think I'm enjoying this? I'm sitting around, wondering where he is, who he's with. So stop worrying about him. Get up and get out. You're right. You're right. I'm acting crazy. I'm rushing into this. I mean, he doesn't owe me anything. I'm going to follow him. <laughs> oh, I'd give anything if Ethel Mertz would walk through that door right now. for an hour. The table's clean enough. Oh, I don't give a log about that. I just want to take a look at your squeeze. Lou, I am going into the men's room to get a shot of Old Spice. Please, don't be here when I come back. Okay. <laughs> Boy, you really yourself go, Waters. Who are you, Miss America? Enough with the pleasantries. Okay, let's get down to business. Take off your clothes. Hey! I don't even know you. Ruth Tronti. Hi. Whoa! Joe! Joe? Uh, Ruth? Oh, well, there's been a misunderstanding. I'm interested in Joe. Well, I'm not gossamer, but I'm not dirt. Look, Lou, you better go. I'll explain later. She's got a few miles on her, Joe, but she seems like a real fun gal. Hi, I'm Joe Waters. Pleased to meet you. Take off your pants. I... No, Lou! No. <laughs> How you doing? Lou! a great guy. Uh, Look, uh, Waters, drop him. Look, I, I don't think I want to do this. Waters. I got carried away. You signed a release. I was high on Twinkies. <laughs> Look, Joe, now I, I know that you're nervous about showing your body. I got a little secret for you. All we need is your face. We don't have to use your body. You don't? No. We'll put your face on the body of a man with a smaller... I'll get undressed. <laughs> Waters! I'm coming, I'm coming. It's getting late. Okay, here I come. Ready? Ready. I'm almost there. Get your ass out here. Lol. Get rid of the tablecloth. What is 
that. An apron. I have a very tiny tattoo on my tush. We won't shoot it. It's a woodpecker with a cigar. Slap it on the bar. Okay. I'm here. Lose the apron, please. What about, uh... Put a stein of beer in front of you. Could we use a pitcher? How about a shot glass? You wouldn't happen to have an extra ten dollars. Uh. Oh, sure. Thanks. No problem. How are you? Fine, fine. Good. How are you? Not bad. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Dad? There's a woodpecker behind you. I'll see you. Could we use dark beer? <laughs> Woo oh. The apron. Oh, I'm sorry. My bike wouldn't start. You know, I know the owner of this place. Joe. Dennis? Joe. <laughs> Look at this. A brother and a paralegal. Oh, Cliff. This is not gonna happen. I'm gonna call Bob Euchre. Working late. This is working late. Will you at least talk to me? No. I think you've said enough. Cliff, will you talk to the guy? Cliff! Dennis, you have to go after him. You have to talk sense into his head. You're the only one who can do it. But you're his brother. I'm also standing here naked in a doorway. <laughs> Cliff! It's kind of late. Maybe I should go. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. Uh, my brother called. He said he's going to be a while. So, Peppy Clydell Schwartz. <laughs> That's an unusual name. Which one? Never mind. <laughs> it was it was incredible, wasn't it? Me running into you like that. <laughs> yeah. You think my fender's gonna be okay? Oh, sure. Sure. You know, it was almost like you went through that red light on purpose. <laughs> now, why would I do a thing like that? I don't know, but right before you did, our eyes met, and you had this look on your face. What kind of look? The same one my cockatoo gets when he sees a female. Except his knees start to shake, and he casts his seeds upon the ground. You think I did that just to meet you? I guess not. Guess you gotta be real desperate. You want some more wine? Why don't we just make out? And Nietzsche said you were dead. <laughs> oh, hi, Joe. Who's that? Uh, no one. You're an idiot, you know that? I went to business college. Not you, precious cargo. Me? Yes, you, you idiot. I thought you went over to Dennis's to talk things out. Oh, I can't listen to him. Then talk to him. At his house. Maybe I should go. Oh, no, no, no. This will just take a minute. Uh, uh, you have a drink. Have something to eat. Uh, here, look, we've got uh, Malamars. Oh, I love them! <laughs> Can I have one, too? Here, take the box to Dennis. Joe, the man tells me he's a paralegal, and then all of a sudden I find out he's a part-time pornographer. Photographer. Are you talking about that Nietzsche fellow? No, no, no. 
My brother's boyfriend. Uh, yes, in fact, we are. Oh, this is your brother? Hi. I'm Peppy Clydell Schwartz. Cliff Waters. Hi. <laughs> you know, you really make me mad. Why? Because I wouldn't put up with the guy lying to me? He didn't lie. He didn't tell me everything. Why should he? I'm supposed to be his boyfriend. Nietzsche? <laughs> you know, maybe there's a reason he didn't tell you. Sure, he's a liar. No, maybe he really likes you. But he knows how damn picky you are and he doesn't want to scare you off. Oh, me picky? Yes, you, picky, picky. That's why you're miserable. If I want a date, I'll go out with anyone. I'm leaving. Oh, no. no. <laughs> That came out wrong. <laughs> Look, I thought I was somebody special to you. I don't just go out with anyone, Joel. <laughs> Joe. Whatever. I, I wasn't talking about you, monkey paws. Please stay. I can't. I'm going to be honest. You have a problem here. I don't want to shock you, but I've been listening to this conversation. I think your brother's a homo. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm sorry, but how long do you think you can hide it? We're going to talk about this, young fellow. Joe, there's nothing to talk about. Look, I'm ready to give my heart to a guy, and I walk in to find him photographing my brother in the nude. You're a homosexual, too? No! But you have such bad taste in clothes! <laughs> Joe, I'm sorry. Look, I'm disappointed in Dennis, and I'm disappointed in you. Disappointed? You're dead. I'm gonna kill you. Hey, I lost a lover. All you lost was a, a Peppy Clydell Schwartz. All I lost? You'd be lucky to have a Peppy. I don't want a Peppy. I don't want anyone. Yes, you do. You want Mr. Perfect. Okay, yeah. I want a permanent relationship with someone. Well, so do I. But Cliff, you can't go straight from nothing to everything. There were steps in between. Like Peppy? Okay, okay, I got a little crazy with the posing and the peppies, and, but you got crazy too. At least I went nuts in the right direction. I was out there having auto accidents. <laughs> there was a chance I could bang into the right person. You're not giving yourself a chance to bang. <laughs> I meant that more seriously than it sounded. I know, I know. Joe, it's just that I, I've got this picture of Mr. Perfect in my head. I'm afraid I'm never going to find him. So you shoot everyone down before you get hurt? Yeah, I guess so. Cliff. Cliff, the more you date, the more you're going to realize that there are lots of worthwhile people out there between the Peppies and, and the Perfects. You're right. Thanks, pal. Now, can I borrow your bike? My bike? Yeah, my Chevy's in the garage. Sure, where are you going? I gotta get hit by a car. <laughs> Thank you.